The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 11. Thinking back to the longbow in her hands, he thought it might be the latter, and with such high privilege, she must be either rich or powerful. The celestial being's hair was wet, as if she had just gotten out of the shower. Her fragrance spread in bursts and her fair complexion was like a lotus after the rain, glowing and smooth. Go on in. No one is there now. The celestial being waved her hands slightly, a hint of smile in her clear eyes, as she invited Su Yu in. Su Yu was surprised. This is the upper class training room, and I am just a silver student with no right to enter, but I appreciate your kind offer. It's all right. I'll allow it. The celestial being smiled and walked away. Su Yu was not a pompous man, so he said his thanks and swiftly entered. In the middle of the training room was a small green pond with white fumes pouring out from it, like an emerald gem. The fragrance of the celestial being lingered in the air. Su Yu got ready to take off his shirt and enter the pond. Suddenly, a gust of strong wind came from behind, so fast that Su Yu could not react. He felt his eyes blur, and it seemed like someone had taken something from the side of the pond. At a crucial moment, Su Yu activated his double eyesight and entered a sped up time zone so that he could see everything clearly. It was the celestial being. Her face was flushed and there was a hint of shyness in her eyes. She was biting her lips slightly as she rushed in and grabbed her skirt that had been left beside the pond. It was none other than the skirt that she had just taken off but forgot to pack away. Her entrance and exit happened in a flash, and normal people would have no way of seeing it, instead just perceiving it as a gust of wind. Su Yu's expression was uncomfortable as he closed the stone door like nothing had happened. After taking off his shirt and entering the pond, Fang Yu was still in shock. The celestial being is so powerful. Her speed of light is far higher than a level that I can match. Besides having a privileged identity, is her level also very high? With doubts in mind, Su Yu entered training. Su Yu submerged his whole body inside the green pond and an indescribable sense of comfort entered every inch of his muscle. He could almost feel his body slowly improving. No wonder this is the upper class training room. The effect is fascinating. Su Yu exclaimed to himself softly. He immediately took out his spirit elixir, coordinated it with the spirit pond, and started to train intensely. The silver student's assessment was only three days away. He had to hurry and upgrade his powers in order to get a higher placing. After one day, the secret chamber remained silent. After two days, there were occasional punching sounds in the chamber. After three days, a breeze was blowing about the chamber, as if there was a shadow floating around, with sounds of moving sleeves. Wow, the effect is amazing in the upper class training room. Su Yu was satisfied as he felt his blood surging through his body. Under the coordination of three lower class spirit elixir, one middle class spirit elixir and the spirit pond, he had reached the peak of level 2. He was only an inch away from level 3. At the same time, the universal stroke had reached level 3 top tier, and his fists could continuously hit 16 times. 16 consecutive hits can be blocked by only a few people. Once the third level is completed, he fists would be able to hit consecutively with no limit. Then who can block it? The cloud shadow trick also had great improvements with the completion of level 1. Su Yu could easily jump over 3 meters, his body light like a swan and graceful like a swallow. His agility and speed could be compared to a level 3 member. Brother Fung, tomorrow is the silver assessment. I wish to enter an upper class training room. A couple approached the training room. The female possessed the beauty of Fox Fairy. Standing beside a handsome man, the fox fairy spoke slightly flirtatiously. Keen Fung was satisfied with the fairy's dependence but was slightly embarrassed. The martial arts training institute was extraordinary, but even he did not have the rights to own an upper-class training institute. King Er, let's wait. The lights are on in this upper-class secret chamber, which means the person inside will leave once he finishes training, and then I will ask him. How about that? Keen Fung tidied his attire, believing that as the junior duke, he could convince the other party. Jiang Zuching was happy, as she felt that as long as Keen Fung was around, anything was possible. Thinking back to her year with Su Yu, she shook her head lightly. If only she had met Keen Fung earlier and had his financial and power support, she might be a golden student now. My past self was so ignorant, Jiang Zuching sighed to herself. Creek. 
The door opened, and a young man surrounded by water vapor stepped out. Keen Fung smiled lightly and extended his hand politely. Sir, I am Keen Fung, and my father is the Duke. I was wondering if you would let us borrow your secret chamber. Su Yu had just come out, and turned around upon hearing the noise his face showed his wonderment. Oh, sorry, this is a friend's. I don't have the right to lend it, Su Yu replied as he closed the stone door and walked past them. He nodded his chin slightly towards Jiang Zuching and walked away expressionlessly. From start to finish, he did not look her in the eyes. Even as he glanced at her, he showed no sign of recognition, as though she were a stranger. The couple was stunned. Keen Fung recovered from the shock and was both surprised and angry. He was surprised that a poor kid could enter an upper-class training room that even he could not enter, and angry that he had made a request to this poor kid. Meanwhile, Jiang Zuching was also shocked. Since when did Su Yu have the right to enter the upper-class training room? Ha, huh. King Er, no need to worry, his good days won't last long. Tomorrow is the silver assessment and I am going to show him something. Keen Feng said with a tinge of viciousness. The mention of the silver assessment caused Jiang Zuching to gather her attention. With the support of Keen Feng, she had managed to break through level 3, and had hope of fighting for the top position with Silver King Chen Tianan. A few months from now she could even enter the ranks of the gold students and be the best of the best. As for Su Yu, with his average skills, he could break through level 2 with some luck. Even so, at most he would return home and become a senior martial arts trainer or a hunter, living a mediocre life. Compared to her, who was destined to be the top lady, they were worlds apart. Su Yu, it is not me being harsh, but you are too useless and cannot provide me with what I want. Jiang Zuching collected her thoughts coolly and made up her mind that the path she had chosen could not be wrong. Su Yu returned to his room, and Wu Song immediately followed him like a pug. He realized he could no longer clearly see Su Yu's details. Brother Yu, you are back. Ha ha, these are the challenge books you have received in the last eight days. Wu Song said with respect as he retrieved a stack of five challenge books. Su Yu had suddenly risen up and defeated Chen Feng, entering the top 100 rank of silver students. Naturally, many silver students were not satisfied and wanted to challenge him. Su Yu did not care about him, except for one letter that made him raise his eyebrows. It was a challenge book written in blood. There were just a few sentences on it. On the day of the silver assessment, come on stage and face death. From the silver king, Chen Tianan. Chen Tianan, Su Yu's expression was cold. Chen Tianan, the best of the silver students, the silver king, the elder brother of Chen Feng, a person who had to be avenged. Su Yu had hurt Chen Feng, it was within reason for Chen Tianan to seek revenge. Wu Song watched Su Yu's expression carefully as his reminded him, Brother Yu, do you want to apply for a leave of absence from the martial arts school to avoid the Silver King? No need. Su Yu wrote his reply in ink on the challenge book, Silver King, tomorrow, protect your title. Wu Song gasped. How daring of Su Yu to be so arrogant. The next morning marked an uneasy day for the countless silver students. The silver assessment would eliminate half of the silver students that did not meet the requirements, with 5,000 people being sent home. This would mean that their martial arts journey would end and they would be marked as a commoner, either being a good hunter in a remote village or being a small instructor, leading a mediocre life. Su Yu arrived at the assessment venue early and sat quietly in the audience seats. Not many people knew him, and nobody cared about him. Look, the second and third silver powers are here. Excitement and respect could be seen in the eyes of countless silver students. Two silver students, one male and one female, gathered in front of thousands of eyes, like shining stars that were eagerly watched. Su Yu had seen the third silver power, Zhu Sen, before. Eight days ago, during his fight with gold student Li Minghao, he was knocked to the ground. His childhood sweetheart Li Qiang threw away their love and abandoned Zhu Sen, becoming a toy for Li Minghao so that she could have a better future. Having experienced the hardships of life, Zhu Sen did not seem to be in the best condition, with an air of uneasiness. Beside him was the second silver power, Xuan Lefei, who was on level 3. She had a sweet face and was all smiles, but there was a hint of slyness in her smiley eyes. Although only 14 years old, she was charming. 
Chuan Lefe has high hopes of achieving the title of Silver King. At last year's silver assessment, she lost to Chen Tianan by one move. Apparently she has been training hard this past year, even breaking through to level 3. The chances do not seem great. Chen Tianan's specialty is the ghost shadow trick, which is mysterious and unpredictable, making him extremely powerful. Unless anyone can match up to this trick, it would be scarce to find a true opponent. The entrance of the two people brought about a round of cheers. After the grounds went quiet for a while, there was a sudden commotion. Look, one of the top three beauties, Jiang Zuching, has appeared. And the junior duke Qin Feng by her side. The crowd was going wild. Su Yu looked over and saw the godlike couple walking out. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 12. I'm so jealous of Jiang Zuching. If only I had the love of the junior duke, I would be able to get the training resources. That's right. Look at Jiang Zuching. Two months ago she was a level 2 lower tier. Now she is a level 3 lower tier. Moreover, she has the middle tier martial arts tricks from the junior duke. She is undoubtedly a dark horse in the fight for the Silver King title. Discussed two jealous girls. The two of you are dreaming. You need to have the looks. A male student at the side jeered at him. Ha, huh. we are not bad looking, it's just that Jiang Zuching is too beautiful, the girl was unsatisfied. The male student smirked to himself and looked towards Jiang Zuching, unable to conceal his love, but he said regretfully, indeed, she is too beautiful. With this kind of girl, if you are together with her and you have no powerful background or skills, you will end up like Su Yu, heartlessly abandoned. Too sad. Upon hearing that, the two girls agreed, poor Su Yu, he was so infatuated. He apparently got on his knees and begged for Jiang Zuching to come back to him, but was heartlessly rejected, and jumped into the lake. The male student said uncaringly, what's there to be sympathetic about? He does not know his place, serves him well to have his woman taken away. What I am interested in is that I heard Su Yu defeated Chen Feng. It is possible that he will meet Jiang Zuching at the silver assessment. I really want to know Su Yu's thoughts when he is defeated by Jiang Zuching. After all, her powers were all given to her by the man who had stolen her, so I think it will be rather humiliating. The two girls sighed, poor Su Yu, he must be trying very hard to avoid that scenario, not sure if he can bear to take action when he meets Jiang Zuching. The appearance of Jiang Zuching and Qin Feng had caused a commotion in the crowd. Su Yu overheard the discussion about him, but merely smiled. Slightly. He had no liking for Jiang Zuching. This kind of beautiful woman, who liked guys for their money, was easy to find on earth. When he worked as a white-collar manager at a high-class center on earth, there were countless women throwing themselves into his arms. What was so rare about that? Although Jiang Zuching and Qin Feng had yet to form a romantic relationship, Su Yu believed that it would happen soon. It was merely the people in this world being more strict about romance. Su Yu closed his eyes, not bothered by the gossip. Look, Silver King Chen Tianan has appeared. A shout burst through the crowd at that moment. Su Yu immediately opened his eyes and shifted his gaze. With the audience's gaze fixed on him, a dark-skinned, vicious-looking and skinny male wearing a white robe and silver crown slowly walked through, as though he were the supreme king. With each step he took, the audience's gaze followed and moved an inch, and their heart rate increased by a beat. The Silver King, the strongest member of the Silver Students. Rumor had it that he once challenged Li Minghao, a gold student ranked 30, and only lost by one move. He became the first silver student to enter the top 30 gold ranks in the institution, and was the strongest silver king in history. Rumor also had it that his student number plate was a hair away from becoming golden color, he was just a step away from becoming a gold student. With all the attention on him, Chen Tianan, as the silver king, sat on the most dazzling seat on the stage. A king seat made of pure gold, a seat designated only for the silver king. From that seat, one can see every corner of the arena. Is that the Silver King's sister, Chen Feng, by his side? I heard both her arms were injured in a fight with a silver boy. By Chen Tianan's side was a young lady in a black robe, who was ugly and had vicious eyes. 
She was looking around, searching for that unforgettable enemy. Brother, he is there. Chen Feng shouted coldly. Her pupils constricted as she discovered Su Yu's presence, as though she had discovered her arch nemesis. Su Yu did not hide, and just looked away, his face calm. She would come in the end anyway, so hiding was not a solution. Chen Tianan looked towards Su Yu, his eyes like daggers that could pierce through Su Yu, making Su Yu shudder. The strong menace that was missing in Shuang Lefei, Zhu Sen and Jiang Zuching made Su Yu's heart tremble. The students around Su Yu were merely participating in the vicious look but immediately felt uneasy, their faces turning pale. Chen Tianan, is is he looking at you? Did you offend him? An obese student stammered to the tall student beside him, as his eyes shifted around. What what are you talking about? He should be looking at you. The tall student stuttered, lowering his head and averting his eyes. The students nearby fidgeted their bodies uneasily, that vicious look caused quite a scare. It is just a look, how big of a deterrence could it be? Chen Tianan, with the title of the Silver King, how terrible was that? Su Yu was not afraid, and he returned a calm look, not fearing confrontation. Chen Tianan neither spoke nor threatened, but merely smiled a vicious smile. Brother, you have to avenge me, Chen Feng said bitterly. Chen Tianan took back his gaze coldly and said, Don't worry. He hurt my feng er, brother will end his life in the most cruel way. His voice was raspy, like two metal pieces being rubbed together, and was unpleasant to the ear. Chen Feng's lips parted to show a vicious cold smile. Her brother's skills were terrifying, and could make people become crazy. His life was over. Half an hour later, all 10,000 silver students had arrived. The 100 judging masters had also arrived. Since there would be a large number to students at the silver assessment, many masters had to be transferred over. Master Jiang, who had taught the celestial being to practice arrows, was among them on that day. Beside him was a middle-aged man in a blue robe, Jiang Zhishi. Jiang Zhishi was in a high position, holding onto the students' learning resources, and had the title of head judge. He had also achieved the scary level 4 peak. Besides that, the leaders of the institution had arrived. Among them, the most attention-grabbing was undoubtedly the vice housemaster. In the martial arts training institute, there is a housemaster and a vice housemaster, and they are the highest managers in the institute. The housemaster's powers had apparently reached the intimidating level 7, and he was an undefeatable legend-like power in the Xianyu prefecture. As for the vice housemaster, he was a terrifyingly strong figure in level 6, with only a few strong figures in the whole Xianyu prefecture worthy of being his opponent. Su Yu was sizing up this vice housemaster. Middle-aged, pure white robe, handsome, valuable powers, but he looked indifferent and cold. Su Yu had some degree of respect for him. His surname was Yi, and he was in charge of discipline matters in the institute. Any student that broke the rules would be subjected to his review and punishment, and everyone was in awe with him. He was fair, and although he was a strict person, he was not biased. Even when dealing with gold students, he showed no favoritism, thus the silver students liked and respected him. Housemaster Yi took a look at the arena and nodded slightly. Jiang Zhishi received the confirmation, looked around coldly and shouted in a deep voice, the annual silver assessment elimination competition officially starts now. Everybody will be split into teams randomly based on your student number. 10,000 people will be split into 100 teams. According to the rules, everyone will have 10 chances to be tested. If you can win 5 rounds, you will have passed the assessment. To win 5 out of 5 rounds meant that half the students would not achieve 5 rounds, thus eliminating them from the competition. Many silver students were feeling uneasy. These kind of assessments also had some element of, of luck. Out of the 10 rounds, if you could meet 5 weaker opponents, then the chances of staying would be very high. Of course, if luck was not on your side, and you entered the same team as the people who were ranked in the first 100, the chances of being eliminated would be very high. Following that, Jiang Zhishi mixed up the 10,000 student number plates and randomly assigned 100 teams. Su Yu's luck was neither good nor bad. In his team, there was just a silver student who was ranked 30th. Su Yu inquired and found out the student was called Li Minghai, who was at level 2 peak, comparable to himself. Minghai, brother will watch out for you, whoever dares to be ruthless to you will not be forgiven by me. 
A slightly familiar voice entered Su Yu's ears. Su Yu turned his head and his pupils involuntarily constricted slightly. Su Yu had seen the person who had spoken before. It was the person who had stolen Zhu Sen's girlfriend and later dumped her, gold student Li Ming Hao. Zhu Sen went to seek revenge, but ended up knocked out in the fight. His power was terrifying. However, what truly surprised Su Yu was the silver student named Ming Hai. He was a follower of the young princess of Xianyu, but had been kicked out by Su Yu that day. He turned out to be a silver student of the institute too. Su Yu felt a slight nervousness in his heart. If he were to be recognized, he would be in big trouble. Fortunately, Su Yu was alert and used his shirt to hide his face. They would soon be fighting face to face. The opponent might not be able to recognize him. Moreover, Su Yu was not the only one who learned the universal stroke technique. He would not be able to pinpoint Su Yu based on that. Feeling his gaze, Li Ming Hai returned the stare. There was nothing special in his look. He had apparently not recognized Su Yu as the vulgar thief that the Duke of Xianyu sought. Su Yu and his team were brought to one of the arenas, and the judge coolly announced the starting of the tests. After a few rounds, it was Su Yu's turn. Su Yu, against Zhen Liming. Liming was at level 2 upper tier, a tier lower than Su Yu, but was still a silver student near the top 100 ranking. You are the Su Yu who defeated Chen Feng. Liaming's face showed his readiness to fight as he said, Very well. I had once written you a challenge book, which you ignored. Now is my chance to fight you. Let's fight. Su Yu said concisely as his crystalline pupils constricted. Fighting was a chance to sharpen his skills. The crystalline pupils that could increase HS speed should only be used at a crucial moment. Liaming was ready to fight and he started his attack. Wolf attack. Liaming shouted deeply. The wolf attack technique was a low class, middle level technique, with good power and it was easy to master. His feet were full of power and he came crashing in like a giant wolf, his two fists in front of his chest like a wolf's fangs. Su Yu did not move, his eyes staring coldly, until the opponent was within a one meter range. He then suddenly kicked out his right leg like a leather whip, a black shadow flashing past. Continuous Jade Leaf Kick. The continuous attacks were linked together, completed within that moment. After many days of training, Continuous Jade Leaf Kick had been trained to the top class level, its power not to be looked down upon. Liaming's body took the attack, and flew backwards like it had been knocked by multiple ships, landing outside of the arena. The judge's eyes lit up slightly. To have completed training for Continuous Jade Leaf Kick to the top class, no wonder its power was so strong. The surrounding people were attracted to this fight as well. Everyone's gaze was on Su Yu. No one was looking at him before this, but he now had all their attention. To many level 1 and even level 2 people, Su Yu was definitely a dangerous target. To have defeated a level 2 top tier with basic leg techniques is indeed terrifying. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 13. Su Yu did not have any sense of accomplishment, and took out his opponent's student number plate expressionlessly. He got some additional martial arts energy, and the silver gray number plate showed a hint of white silver color. After a few rounds, Sun Fei, against Su Yu. I admit defeat. Sun Fei bit her lip slightly, painfully watching her student number plate lose a quarter of its martial arts energy. She was only a level 2 lower tier. To pass the assessment would not be difficult, but to meet Su Yu was her bad luck. Even the level 2 top tier was defeated with one trick, why would she bring hardship to herself? It would be better to save her energy for the future fights. Up was Su Yu's fights. I admit defeat. I'm not fighting, defeat admitted. Ha, huh, I want to try. Continuous Jade Leaf Kick. Ah. Su Yu had achieved four consecutive wins. He was one fight away from passing the assessment. The judge said with a hint of smile, Su Yu, against Li Ming Hai. Whoa. These two fierce gods are finally meeting. Su Yu and Li Ming Hai were the two strongest people on their team, both with four consecutive wins and no losses. One was an old student with a reputation outside of the institute, ranked in the top 30 among the silvers. Another was a rising star, defeating his opponents with one basic leg technique. Unknowingly, Su Yu had gained some fame. Information about him spread like wildfire. 
What? The Su Yu who kneeled on the floor and begged for Jiang Zuching's heart, but failed and then jumped into the river. Are you sure it's him? That's impossible. I heard Su Yu is only level 1. How could he be so powerful? Why just two months and he changed so much? Not sure what that Jiang Zuching will think when she sees him. Upon the judge's announcement, the two of them jumped onto Thirina. Li Minghai stood with his hands folded, a vicious smile playing on his lips as he said, You are not bad, but too bad you are up against me. You received quite a bit of martial arts energy just now, you need to give me a chance. Su Yu coolly glanced at his opponent's student number plate. It was still silver white, and although not a dazzling silver white, he was much more powerful than Su Yu. If he could get his opponent's martial arts energy, his student number plate would undergo big changes. Wouldn't we know once we fight? Su Yu gave it a thought and decided that against him, it would best to leave some energy in reserve. He would counter with basic leg techniques, to avoid slipping up and being recognized. Li Minghai laughed coldly, do you think that I am the same as you and can only train in the lower class techniques? He was Li Minghao's brother and the attendant for the young princess of Xianyu. How could his martial arts skills be bad? Tiger fists. Li Minghai shouted deeply, his fists pushed forward as he reversed for power and pounced high in the air, like a tiger. Be it his stance, or his fist skills, they were fierce and majestic. Su Yu felt as though a black shadow was pressing on him, making it hard to breathe. In the Twilight Mountains, Li Minghai had been badly injured and had just woken up. His rushed display of tiger fists was not even half as powerful as then. If it were Li Minghai at his peak, Su Yu might not have been able to escape that day. However, Su Yu was not the same as that day. In the eight days since, his power had made great improvements. Continuous Jade Leaf Kick Su Yu remained fearless. With his left leg standing steadily on the ground, Su Yu raised his right leg, bent his knee, and suddenly kicked it out. Under the strong explosive force, his right leg brought about a patch of black shadow in the air. With the loud sound of wind, his right leg landed a precise kick on Li Minghai's jaw. Li Minghai was unlike the rest. His tiger fists retracted and blocked the front of his jaws. Bang! The pouncing tiger pose acted as a slight obstacle. Taking the chance, Li Minghai returned to stand on the ground, his face slightly changed. In his heart, he was shocked. The explosive force was so strong. Without years of training, it would be hard to reach that level. Feeling his slightly aching arms, Li Minghai's eyes grew angrier as he said, You were looking for death. However, what caused Li Minghai's face to change color again was that his opponent did not rest after the kick. Under the coordinated movement of the ankle and knee joints, Su Yu actually shifted over onto his left leg only. His retracted right leg was like a continuous whip, continuing to kick. Li Minghai was furious, but he could only temporarily use his arms to block. The audience below the stage was in shock. Li Minghai was fought by Su Yu to the point whereby he could not retaliate. Li Minghai had long been established as a silver power. This Su Yu, he is too terrifying. Bang! At the edge of the arena, Su Yu suddenly attacked and kicked Li Minghai off the arena. Ah, young man, I remember you. Li Minghai felt bitter. The middle class techniques which he had been training in were defeated by his opponent's basic leg techniques, how is that not embarrassing? Behind him, brother Li Minghao gave Su Yu a cold stare. Following that, he scolded Li Minghao, useless. Can't even beat an unknown junior. It is him being too sly. Li Minghao was unconvinced. Li Minghao coolly replied, sly. Although he was using the basic technique, it had reached the peak stage, with a natural flow between his leg techniques. Although you have middle class techniques, you only trained one level, with many flaws in them. Under the same realm, what's strange about defeating you? A soldier's most valuable part is his brain, he understands this logic better than you. Upon being scolded, Li Minghai's anger immediately dissipated. He felt wronged as he said, brother, stop scolding me, I know already. Won't you help me take revenge? Glancing at Su Yu, Li Minghao shook his head and said coolly, he is too weak, not worthy of my fight. I will let Xuan Lefei know, to teach him lesson if she meets him. Xuan Lefei, Li Minghai was overjoyed. Xuan Lefei had been trying to please his brother, hoping to gain some benefits, and this was her chance. 
Among the silver students, Xuan Lefei was very popular, second only to Jiang Zuqing, who was one of the top three beauties. She was famous for her sweet and cute face, and her small but mature frame. Too bad she was very sly, walking among many powerful figures, but never letting men take advantage of her, and was the cause of lust and headache for many playboys. Xuan Levi's strong power was second only to the Silver King. If she were to meet Su Yu, it would be too easy to teach him a lesson. Su Yu, five consecutive wins. Successfully passed. The judge announced with a smile, the first student with five consecutive wins had appeared. Having defeated Li Minghai with one move, Su Yu's popularity completely soared. The students from the other teams also threw inquiring looks, wondering who this unknown power was. In a team not far away, Jiang Zuqing's eyes looked around slightly as she kept a light gaze on Su Yu. I didn't think that you would grow to such an extent. A ray of surprise flashed past Jiang Zuqing's eyes, but was immediately clouded by coolness. Too bad, you are still not enough for me, Jiang Zuqing. I, Jiang Zuqing, am fated to live an extraordinary life. You, Su Yu, will never be enough for me. Jiang Zuqing shook her head slightly and returned her gaze expressionlessly. The elimination round of the silver assessment was gradually coming to an end. Some people had been lucky enough to pass and were celebrating. There were also people who had unfortunately lost and were crying loudly. The sounds of celebrations and cries mixed together to form a complicated rhythm playing in Su Yu's heart. This is indeed a cruel world. Su Yu sat down quietly below the arena, slowly opening his eyes. He took in the sight of the defeated students who would go back to their dorms and pack their bags, to return home all alone. If not for the Nine Dragons and the Incredible Cauldron, he might be one of those people. Su Yu curled his fists tightly as he suddenly lamented that his power was still too weak. If he stopped improving, there would come a day where he would be defeated in another arena. Determined to train, Su Yu closed his eyes to rest. An hour later, there were only 200 people left at the venue. They were all the winners with shinier silver number plates. Su Yu had five consecutive wins, and his student number plate had since turned from silver gray into silver white. Up, was another highlight of the silver assessment, the silver ranking competition. This was the portion that concerned those with a high level the most. The front part of the assessment was low level and they were not too concerned, only witnessing some signs of the silver assessment in front of their eyes. To put it harshly, to them the top 200 silver students were just slightly larger trash. Only gold students were considered to have passed. For this ranking assessment, they were still in 10 teams, each team with 20 people. This time, Su Yu knew no one on his team. However, quite a number of people in the team knew him. Su Yu, the fierce lord, is also on our team. He is very strong, we are rather unlucky. What is there to fret about? Even without Su Yu, it would be hard for us to get a good ranking. Didn't you see that Jiang Fan, the silver power ranked fourth, is also here? A silver student at level 2 peak side helplessly. Also, look at who the judge is in this arena, another silver student at level 2 peak said quietly. They turned their heads and saw that their judge was the master who had taught archery, Master Jiang. His rough face and fierce eyes made him unforgettable. Jiang Fan is the only son of Jiang Zhishi. With only one son, he usually cares and protects him a lot. Today, there is Jiang Zhishi's brother, Master Jiang, covering for him. In the arena, even if you had the skill to beat him, no one would dare to. That's right, if Jiang Zhishi seeks revenge afterwards, you are in trouble. Jiang Fan stood proudly among the crowd, a crown on his head. Although he was handsome looking, his chin was slightly tilted upwards and he usually walked this way as well, giving people the impression that he was looking at him with his nostrils. But he indeed had the rights to be this way. To be ranked silver number 4 is enough to speak for his strong power. With his martial arts at level 2 peak, middle class skills and Jiang Zhishi's pointers at the institute, those were enough to set him far apart from Li Minghai. First round, Jiang Fan against Wei Tao. Below the stage, everyone's eyes suddenly looked nervous. The first round was already Jiang Fan. Wei Tao is still in the top 10 among the silver students. He apparently comes from a small-scale family, with middle-class skills. 
His power is very tough, which a year ago made him famous throughout the institute. Under the audience's gaze, Jiang Fan hopped onto the arena with his nostrils looking down on people, just like an eagle opening its wings, light and elegant. Jiang Fan's movement techniques are good. The students were envious. Movement techniques had great assisting powers, and many people wanted to learn and train in them. But it was usually extremely difficult to master excellent movement techniques. The eagle wings, which were present in the Buddhist scriptures, had been attempted by many but few had successfully mastered it. It was too difficult to understand. Even after looking at it for days, one could not find a solution. As such, most of the time was wasted and many would decide to give up. To give up on main techniques for assisting techniques was not worth it. Of course, there were movement techniques that were easier to master, but those had weak effects. Jiang Fan showed his skills and caused many to become envious. Master Jiang nodded his head slightly. This nephew of his, had some fight in him, and did not let him disappoint his brother's entrustment. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 14. Following that, it was Wei Tao's turn to go on stage. He jumped on, but his movement techniques seemed clumsy. Wei Tao was 15 years old, but he was born chubby, and his strong face made him look like a mature 20 year old. His body was strong, with the muscles in his arms, chest, abdomen and legs looking like inflated balloons that were going to explode, giving people a powerful sense of force. Su Yu clicked his tongue quietly. To enter the top 10 silver ranking, you had to be extraordinary. I heard that last week, Wei Tao challenged Fan Li, who is ranked number 5, and almost defeated him. His current powers are more than enough to enter the top 6. That's right. I have also heard that. It would not be easy for Jiang Fan to defeat him. Master Jiang's thick black eyebrows frowned slightly as he said, the testing starts now. Jiang Fan nodded his chin slightly and said, I will let you have one move, go on and take action. Hearing that, the audience could not help but gasp. Isn't Jiang Fan crazy, to look down on him like that? Wei Tao was instantly humiliated and replied, Jiang Fan, stop looking down on people. Even Fan Li was almost defeated by me, how much stronger can you be? Jiang Fan stood with his arms crossed, and although his cool gaze was on Wei Tao, his eyes only took in another person who was in the same direction, Chen Tianan. He could only see the Silver King, and not the people who were weaker than him. How arrogant! The audience could not help the tremor in their minds. To have been completely overlooked, Wei Tao was furious. Lion Overlord. Wei Tao's terrifying explosive body charged towards Jiang Fan. The fierce energy shifted the airflow, blowing through the robes of the audience. So fast. The audience could not help their cry, as they felt scared for Jiang Fan. Jiang Fan seemed to have been too proud this time, and would have to suffer a loss. Whoosh. Just as Wei Tao almost crashed into him, Jiang Fan rose onto his toes and levitated, bringing him two meters above the ground, easily avoiding that powerful collision. A hint of disdain and ridicule showed through Jiang Fan's lips. I have already let you have a hand. The cool voice entered Wei Tao's ears. Wei Tao's face paled, and a great sense of foreboding washed over him. Eagle Claw. Jiang Fan's toes turned into hooks in the air, and as he spun during his descent, they looked like turning screws, aimed for Wei Tao's neck. Bang. The great force from his neck caused Wei Tao's muscular body to fall to his knees. Not waiting for Wei Tao's retaliation, Jiang Fan's toes spun again as they kicked Wei Tao above his temples. Ah. Wei Tao only had time to scream before he fainted from the kick. The temples were one of the most dangerous points on the human body. To suffer a kick there and faint is already considered a light injury. This Jiang Fan, he shows no mercy. Su Yu's felt a slight coldness as his heart. Jiang Fan returned to the ground, a look of disdain on his face, as he had defeated Wei Tao so easily. He glanced at Wei Tao coolly as he said, can't even take an attack. Let me tell you, Fan Li can't get past this trick under me, what use is it that you almost defeated him? Gasp. The sounds of the audience gasping came one after another. Rank number 5 Fan Li couldn't take an attack from Jiang Fan. Jiang Fan has become strong again. Last time Fan Li could narrowly take 10 tricks under him, but now not even one. Master Jiang announced with a smile, Jiang Fan wins. 
Following that, Jiang Fan went on the stage multiple times and without exception, defeated his opponents with one move. Of course, Su Yu was not too different, defeating his opponents with one move of continuous jade leaf kick. Half a day later. Whoa. Jiang Fan is so strong, he already has 18 consecutive wins. And Su Yu, he has taken everyone by surprise, with 18 consecutive wins as well. Without a doubt, Su Yu was the biggest dark horse in this silver assessment. Go Su Yu, I support you. Some female students who were sympathetic for his past relationship cheered him on. Many silver students who had been at the bottom levels for a long time viewed Su Yu as a learning goal and cheered him on. Out of the 3,000 or so students who had passed the elimination round, about 400 to 500 were cheering him on. Although the sounds were sparse, Su Yu could be heard every once in a while. In the VIP audience seats, Lord Yi followed the cheers of the audience and shifted his gaze. Jiang Zhishi, the head judge, also could not help but realize Su Yu. His face instantly drooped slightly. How could it be him? If he hadn't seen him with own eyes, Jiang Zhishi would have forgotten him. Duke Keen had reminded him multiple times to chase Su Yu out of the institute and disrupt his future. Jiang Zhishi did not think about the matter, as with Su Yu's qualifications and strength, he was bound to have been eliminated, but how did he make it into the ranking round? To Jiang Zhishi, it was surreal. Was that Su Yu he was looking at, the real Su Yu? With these thoughts flashing through his mind, Jiang Zhishi had a look of seriousness. This matter was instructed by Duke Keen, how could he mess up? However, with the housemaster present, it was not acceptable for him to settle private matters, so he could only act should a chance arise. Although, realizing his son was at the venue made him more relaxed. With his son present, he knew without a doubt that he had to stop there. In the arena, Master Jiang stared at Su Yu with a hint of dislike. He had an impression of him. He was good at archery and was admired by Miss Chia, to the extent that she gifted him her own Kiran Bao. He did not expect that besides archery, his skills were also so powerful, winning 18 consecutive rounds using his perfect basic leg technique. As such, both he and Jiang Fan were one round away from achieving 19 consecutive wins, achieving the stage of complete victory. Round, Jiang Fan vs. Su Yu. Jiang Fan went onto the stage elegantly as per usual. In comparison, Su Yu appeared extremely clumsy. I'm letting you have one hand. Jiang Fan, who looked at people through his nostrils, still had no eyes for even Su Yu's shadow. Many people were feeling nervous for Su Yu, as Jiang Fan was very powerful. Just as everyone was feeling anxious, an inharmonious voice made them freeze. Hey, your nostrils are so turned up, aren't you afraid a bird will poop inside? Su Yu pursed his lips. An unknown person almost spit out his mouthful of tea. Many people below the stage covered their mouths and laughed quietly. This Su Yu, he had a really bad mouth. Jiang Fan's eyes instantly turned cold as he said, HMPH. The trash whose woman was stolen from him has the courage to laugh in my face today. Might as well, you sought your own death, don't blame me for not showing mercy. Jiang Fan rose onto his toes, displaying his movement techniques, his form like a spirit. It all happened very fast. When he was three meters away, he rose into the air, like a huge bird opening its wings. He spun down, his feet like a bird's claw, aiming for Su Yu's head. Judging by his stance, he was not concerned whether Su Yu would be injured, his vicious technique witnessed by all. Su Yu's expression was calm. In his eyes, which were as deep as outer space, there were no signs of disturbance. They sharply searched for a weakness in his opponent's position, and his right leg lashed out like a whip. Jiang Fan's spinning left leg was blocked by the kick. Following that, his right leg pursued Su Yu like a bird's claw, and he gave a cold smile as he said, the basic leg technique, no matter how perfect, cannot be compared to the middle class techniques that belong to the top tier. Get lost. Jiang Fan's right leg came swinging in without obstructions. Su Yu's face had a slight look of ridicule. At the last moment, he changed his pose. Universal stroke. His fists and feet went out one after another, with smooth transitions that showed no signs of stagnation. Before his fist was done punching, his leg attacked. Once his leg stopped, another fist came. 
with the speed of the fists and legs, they could not be differentiated from each other. Jiang Fan's face suddenly froze. With him in the air, he had no choice but to use his feet to block. But, with nowhere to tap energy from, how could the speed of his legs be faster than the fierce and continuous attack? Bang! All of a sudden, Su Yu's leg gave a hard kick and hit his opponent squarely in the crotch. Jiang Fan's face paled as he gasped for air. After he tumbled onto the ground, he covered his crotch with his hands, cold sweat on his forehead, not daring to move. Any movement, and he would experience piercing pain. You, dare to injure me, you better watch out. Jiang Fan said furiously as his eyes gave a stare. Su Yu did not show mercy, and the universal stroke continued. A fist to his opponent's head caused him to fly out of the arena. The double encounters of extreme pain caused Jiang Fan to pass out. The audience below the stage gasped. They had already categorized Su Yu as the biggest dark horse, but no one thought that Su Yu would be so much stronger than what they had imagined. Even Jiang Fan, who was ranked fourth, was not an opponent. Instantly, this grabbed everyone's attention. With the defeat of fourth-ranked Jiang Fan, a powerful figure comparable to the top three in the silver ranking had appeared. Housemaster Yi, who had been watching throughout, squeezed out a smile on his cool face. Universal Stroke, looks like it had been trained to level two top class, reaching four consecutive attacks. Jiang Fan's defeat is reasonable. Head Judge Jiang Zhixi and Judge Master Jiang suddenly paled and rushed down together, to check on Jiang Fan's injury. Realizing it was just a temporary loss of consciousness, they let out a breath. Master Jiang looked back fiercely, Su Yu. It's just a learning experience, did you have to be so ruthless? Facing his fierce look, Su Yu said naturally, Jiang Fan was ruthless all the time. He even dared to kick an area as dangerous as Wei Tao's temples, and Master Jiang saw this but did not stop him. I thought this was a life or death battle, so to protect myself, I was more ruthless. Jiang Fan can get away with being ruthless, but I am merely a student with no background, so I get the blame for being ruthless once. If I had known earlier I would have stood still and let Jiang Fan beat me to death. Su Yu's face was full of regret. Instantly, many obscure looks were seen, all full of dissatisfaction. Housemaster Yi, whose expression also showed slight coldness, lightly chided, to shield your family members, you also need to look at the occasion. Head Judge Jiang Zhixi realized the bad situation and gave Master Jiang a fierce stare, do you have a brain? Such obvious bias, aren't you seeking trouble for yourself? Between thoughts, he announced in a dignified manner, it has been confirmed, Su Yu is not suspected of cheating. Su Yu wins. Oh, they were checking if Su Yu had reason to be suspected of cheating. This far-fetched reason was not believed by many, but gave the brothers a way out. Otherwise, that they would not have a good ending with the angry crowd. Su Yu had a record of 19 consecutive wins, and became the first in his team. At that moment, Su Yu's student number plate was dazzling, as it had reached the stage of a silver-white color. Looking at the undefeatable dark horse Su Yu, many had different reactions. Chen Feng's fingernails pierced into her palms and she said bitterly, in just a few days, how did he become so strong? A large hand patted her shoulder lightly, and a rough cold voice said, what is Jiang Fan? In front of me, he doesn't even have the courage to look at me. Su Yu defeating him is nothing much. Chen Tianan's expression was cold, his eyes indifferent, with a sense of loneliness of the undefeatable. For the Silver King, there still existed no opponent among the Silver students. In the year with rare competitors, he could only cure his loneliness through finding the gold students. Hearing that, Chen Feng's face relaxed, her mind at ease. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 15. Jiang Zuqing was resting beside Qin Feng. With her level 3 power, she was also a dark horse, achieving first in her team. Just at that moment, she glanced at Su Yu's team, and a hint of surprise flashed through her pretty eyes. Su Yu was even stronger than she had imagined, and could even defeat Jiang Fan. She felt a sense of tightness in her chest. For some unknown reason, the stronger Su Yu became, the more uncomfortable she felt. She was very unwilling to see Su Yu become more powerful. At that moment, she heard a warm voice. 
King Er, if you meet Su Yu later, remember to show some mercy. You are level 3, and he is level 2. If you are too ruthless, you will injure him. Keen Fung seemed gentle, as he sighed, after all, the two of you used to be a pair. To have to fight each other increases my sin, as it at me who caused the two of you to be in today's state. Jiang Zuching started as she came to the sudden realization. That's right. As a level 3, to have to fight a level 2 isn't that the prey coming to her hand. If she were to meet Su Yu later, she would openly defeat him without a doubt. As the uneasiness in her mind dissipated, Jiang Zuching looked back. Her soft eyes looked at King Feng as she gently said, Brother Feng, you are too kind. You don't owe Su Yu anything and you don't have to blame yourself. As she talked and looked over to Su Yu once again, Jiang Zuching's eyes were cold and expressionless. She said, Our relationship ended a long time ago. From now on, my body and heart only belongs to Brother Feng. As for Su Yu, I will defeat him with absolute power to let him know that he is not worthy of me, Jiang Zuching. Jiang Zuching gave Su Yu a cold stare. A cold smile was hidden deep in Qin Feng's eyes. He did not care whether Su Yu lived, and only took the chance to comfort Jiang Zuching, as he was afraid that her heart might be moved by Su Yu's rise in power. However, hearing her, body and heart only belongs to Brother Feng, made him feel more comfortable. This Jiang Zuching was indeed too beautiful, like a fox fairy. To be able to get her, Qin Feng felt it was partly due to luck. As the junior duke, he had seen many pretty ladies, but someone like Jiang Zuching was extremely rare. It was a pity that although she was his girlfriend by name, they had remained proper and had no any form of physical contact before, not even touching hands. Ha ha, you can handle it yourself. One month later, at the gold student competition, after I win first place, I will top it by asking my father to help us get engaged. How about that? Qin Feng was feeling excited. Jiang Zuching was delicate. Her body shook slightly and she bit her lips as she took a distant look at the common Su Yu. After a long while, she nodded her head lightly, okay. With that, okay, it was destined that she could no longer turn back. A month from now, she would be Qin Feng's fiancé, Duke Can's daughter-in-law and a lady under the world founder. She would lead a rich and prosperous life, above billions of people. Su Yu, don't blame me, it is you who is useless, my beauty should not be buried by you. Sighing quietly in her mind, Jiang Zuching closed her eyes. Qin Feng was overjoyed. One month later, at the golden competition, I, Qin Feng, will get first place. An unmatchable belief flooded Qin Feng's brain. Li Minghai has been watching Su Yu for a long time, with suspicion in his eyes. The similar fist and leg techniques made him think of the masked figure he had met on the Wangan Mountain. What is it? Li Minghao was collecting his things to leave with Li Minghai. With him being number 30 in the silver ranking, he could not enter the top 10 and Li Minghai's fight had ended, so he was preparing to leave. Li Minghai said hesitantly, I think the person wanted by the Duke of Xianyu resembles him. That fist and leg technique is very similar. Is it? Li Minghao shook his head slightly, that is universal stroke, many people train in it. Just now, at least 10 people displayed that technique, but their power was not as strong as what you said. To be able to hit consecutively 8 times is the power of a level 3 lower tier, and can only be accomplished by a gold student. Li Minghai gave it some thought and agreed, this Su Yu was just a pitiful bug who had been dumped. Although he didn't know how his power suddenly improved so much, training universal stroke to a high level would be too difficult. If I didn't have to rush back to accompany the young princess to relieve her of boredom, I would really like to see how Xuan Lefei would punish him later. Li Minghai tossed a slight look at Su Yu and left unwillingly. Su Yu, who was secretly watching the two of them depart, let out a sign of relief in his mind. With Li Minghai gone, he could let loose. An hour later, the silver ranking competition came to an end. The last highlight was finally starting. Jiang Zhishi, as the head judge, stood at the huge central arena. The last challenge, the fight for the Silver King, officially starts now. The ten winners please come on stage. Su Yu and the others filed into the arena. They all had the highest number of consecutive wins in the 20-person team. Jiang Zuching was one of them. Silver King Chen Tianan remained seated. 
After the ten people in the arena dueled, only the strongest would qualify to challenge the former Silver King. The ten of you will draw straws to compete. In the first round, five people will be eliminated. Out of the remaining five, four will fight and one will enter the semi-finals straight away, Jiang Zhishi announced. Su Yu and the rest came forward to duel according to their order. His luck was not bad, and he picked the student who had been ranked in position 6. He won this fight without a doubt. Jiang Zuqing's luck was good too, and she easily defeated the student ranked number 8. Following that, Zhu Sen, ranked number 3, won. Chuan Lefei, ranked number 2, won. The last person was ranked number 5, Fan Li, had better luck and met the student ranked number 9, allowing her to enter the semi-finals. There were only five people left. Let's start drawing straws. There is one empty straw. The person who draws that does not have to compete and will enter the semi-finals straight away, Jiang Zhishi announced indifferently. The five people drew their straws successively. Su Yu quietly looked at his straw, and was instantly shocked. His luck was too good. His straw did not have an opponent's name, which meant that he had entered the semi-finals. Out of the four remaining people, Jiang Zuqing looked forward steadily and did not look at him once. The other three threw him envious looks. It was easy for Su Yu to be happy, as he got to watch the fights from the side and observe their powers at the same time. The fight between Jiang Zuqing and Fan Li was not very exciting. With her level 3 cultivation base, Jiang Zuqing used the rolling technique and finished off Fan Li with two moves, entering the semi-finals. Su Yu's focus remained on Xuan Lefei and Zhu Sen. One was second among the Silvers, and had apparently narrowly achieved success in a challenge against Chen Tianan. The other was third among the Silvers, whose power was not to be looked on lightly. Both of them were at level 3 lower tier, and it was unknown how far apart their powers were. Xuan Lefei went on stage laughing. Her petite body had a seductive outline, and caused many male students to secretly cast youthful passionate looks at her. Chuan Lefei was like a little fairy. Ha ha. Brother Zhu Sen, you have to show mercy. Chuan Lefei smiled flirtatiously. Zhu Sen's face darkened. After being betrayed by Li Qian and being defeated by Li Minghao, he was feeling frustrated and ignored her, coolly saying, let us start. Swift horizontal knife. He backhandedly retrieved his knife, his expression looking more fierce, as though he could only maintain this mode when fighting. Chuan Lefei hit her waist laughingly, and two purple bats flew out from a small colorful pocket. Different from normal bats, purple bats gave off a strong sense of demonism, and the people could feel their fierceness. Category 1 Demonic Beasts, Purple-Blooded Bats. Some people who recognized the creatures were shocked. Su Yu's pupils constricted slightly. He vividly remembered the power of Category 1 Demonic Beasts, the fire dragon was just as hard to handle. However, by intuition, it seemed like the purple-blooded bats were far less powerful than the fire dragon. That is the young version of the category 1 demonic beasts. Their power is merely around level 3 lower tier, look how scared you are. A more experienced older student pursed his lips. The surrounding audience came to the realization, so it is. If it were a mature category 1 demonic beast, Xuan Lefei would have become the silver king. However, despite them being young, they are still very dangerous. Purple-blooded bats can give off ultrasounds that cannot be heard by human ears, causing people to feel faint. They will take the chance to approach and suck your blood. The poisons contained in their bodies will also enter the human body, causing poisonous paralysis and death. In the forest, purple-blooded bats usually live in groups. Once you encounter them, even a level 4 would be poisoned and paralyzed, and slowly sucked dry by a group of purple-blooded bats. Hearing that, the people who were learning about this for the first time shuddered. In the arena, Zhu Sen's expression changed, and he started sweeping horizontally with the long knife in his hand, hoping to sweep away the two purple-blooded bats. A sweet smile played on the corners of Xuan Levi's lips as she whistled. We. Instantly, the two purple-blooded bats took the chance to open their mouths and emitted silent ultrasounds. Ah! Zhu Sen's body suddenly flickered as he quickly reversed, clenching his teeth and furrowing his brows, a look of pain appearing on his face. Taking this chance, Xuan Lefei approached and lightly placed her small tender hands on Zhu Sen's body. 
Su Sen wanted to retaliate, but the two purple-blooded bats had flooded over, releasing the ultrasounds at a short distance and blocking Zhu Sen's body. In the end, Zhu Sen suffered a hit and was hit off the arena. Jiang Zhishi nodded slightly. Chuan Lefei had pressured Zhu Sen, and was deserving of her second place in the silver ranking. Chuan Lefei wins. As such, there were only three people left. Su Yu, Jiang Zuqing, and Chuan Lefei. Out of the three, only one would remain and ultimately challenge Silver King Chen Tianan. Jiang Zhishi secretly glanced at Su Yu, coolness in his eyes. He had performed brilliantly, from a common silver student who was about to be eliminated, to his state today. It was a pity that he had to stop here. Both Jiang Zuqing and Xuan Lefei remained were at level 3. There was no chance for Su Yu to win. The semi-finals officially start now. First round, Su Yu vs. Jiang Zuqing. There was an uproar in the audience as everyone perked up their attention.